Hey everyone, this is Justin again, and I just got done watching a YouTube video called Church 101, and it was about how to read the Bible, and I thought it was fascinating, so I, I, maybe it could, maybe this uh, will affect you as, as, as hard as it hit me. So uh, I'm going to read just a couple of verses here. This is from 2 Timothy 3.15. Uh, no, actually, let's start in 14. Uh, 2 Timothy 3.14, and I'm just going to read through. But you must continue in the things which you have learned and been assured of, knowing from whom you have learned them, and that from your childhood you have known the holy scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith, which is in Jesus Christ. And this is verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Verse 17, that the, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Now, I'm just going to hit up a couple of things here. Actually, it's going to be seven things that uh, during this YouTube video, and I would recommend anybody go, go ahead and get on there and, find, and look for uh, David Ashrick's uh, Church 101. So... The first thing that was that was mentioned, which was make time. Now, I know what everybody's saying. Oh, I just I don't have time to do this. Here's here's a good suggestion. Pick a time. Uh, my, my recommendation personally would be in the morning. Just pick a time. It does not have to be two, three, four, five, six, seven hours. Take the time. Even if it is 10, 5, 15 minutes, just take that time to try to glean something from the Lord. So the first one is take that time. Second thing is, is and I know 20 years ago we wouldn't have had to say this, but we got to say it today. Shut your phones off. Shut your devices off. Personally, and this is just my opinion as well, get a paper Bible. Uh, and I, I know there's a lot of... Uh, millennials and all that other stuff out there. That's that's fine if, if your Bible's digital, that's okay. But just understand that the distractions will come. So let's let's shut those things off and let's see how how the word of God can affect our lives. The next thing is prayer. And and this this is number three. Say a simple prayer of surrender, which which is perfect. You just, just a prayer just as simple as saying, Dear God Give me something. Holy Spirit, give me something and help me to be humble enough to recognize it and show me a good work that you can do in me and change me from what you're going to show me. A simple prayer of surrender to the Lord to say, "I, God, I am vulnerable. You know it. You know everything. I don't know anything. God, please show me something. So a simple prayer. Uh, the next thing is do not forget that it's all about Jesus. Don't forget that. If we forget that, that, that this book right here, this one, boop, this book right here, if we forget that the point in all of this was about Jesus, and I'll, get, I'll give you a very, very quick, um, for those of you who do, who do not know, which, which many people may not know, this is actually not a book. This is 66 books. It's a collection of books. Uh, now, I know they, they typically call it the Old Testament and the New Testament. That's fine, but it's actually only one story. It is only one story, and it's all about Jesus. It's a story of how in, in the early books in the Bible, it talks about uh, the creation of the world and how, how we fell from God and, and how we pushed God away. And God, in his mercy and his love for us, he allowed us to more or less wallow and and. Um, bathe in the sin that we've created for ourselves, the situation we've created for ourselves. And once we once we get going on down the line, God, it's we find that God made promises. God made promises to uh, some families, and He said there is going to become there is going to come a coming Savior. And so let's continue on down the line. Then God saved these people. These people became huge, and God commissioned them to reach the world. And unfortunately, they didn't do as well as God would have hoped. And the, the, the short story is we get to the New Testament and what this is. The, and what I, what I like to hear, and I heard, I heard this, so I'm going to say it here. The, the Old Testament is a promise made 
and the New Testament is the promise kept. But through the whole thing, it's all about one person, and that is Jesus Christ. So when we're reading Scripture, let's, let's keep that in mind. It's all about Jesus. The next part is make it real. Make it, make it, make it real. Look for some kind of takeaway when it, when it comes to this and, and put yourself in the text. And, and, and that's what we want to do. We want, we want to make this as real as possible. We want to have some kind of takeaway. And, and, and with this takeaway, we want it to be something that's, that's personal, something that's connected to us. Even if it's something as simple as, hey, you know what? God comes through in a pinch. And when it comes to that, and I know that this, this image may not represent it as, as well as I would have hoped, but quite frankly, we make thousands of decisions in our life, and our decisions are making us they're making us, you're, you make your decisions and your decisions make you. Inevitably, they, your decisions make up who you become, your character. And when it comes to this, let's keep in mind that when we're reading Scripture, let's make that part of Scripture, that one thing that we pulled away from, from our reading of the, uh, of the Bible, let's make it real in our lives and let's make it a part of our lives. So our decisions start coming in line with God and his, uh, his character and his, his uh, uh, plan for our lives. So l- let me just read th- through these again. First of all, let's make time. Secondly, turn everything off. Thirdly, say a simple prayer of surrender. Fourth, uh, remember that Jesus is the point. Fifth, put yourself in the text. Uh, number six, uh, look for a personal takeaway, something you can take away from this. And number seven, ask God to make it a part of your life. Ask him to say, God, please, as part of that, uh, the, that prayer of surrender even, uh, God, please, may, whatever I learn out of this, Father, please make it a part of who I am. Help me to see you shining out of me, dear Lord. This is Justin. And once again, we're trying to give you tools to help you walk the talk.